Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The Duke of Sussex was joined by six times Formula One world champion driver Lewis Hamilton today, as he officially opened a new museum at the Silverstone Circuit. Prince Harry toured the Silverstone Experience in Northamptonshire, a museum charting British motor racing through the years at the new home of the British Racing Drivers Club's archives. The experience will also boast hands-on exhibits for visitors, and Harry will have a chance to get to grips with some of the interactive displays. The Duke and Hamilton are also set to meet students from local schools in the Tech Lab section, learning more about the cutting-edge science and engineering that goes into motor racing. The visit marks a final run of royal duties for Harry, since he and the Duchess of Sussex announced they would be stepping down as senior royals on March 31st, two with only three further duties in the diary. Harry and Meghan are making their last official appearances alongside the rest of the royal family, to including Prince William and Kate, at the Commonwealth Day service in Westminster Abbey on March 9th. Hamilton, who drives for Mercedes, begins his bid to take a record equine seventh world title, when the new Formula One season kicks off with the upcoming Australian Grand Prix. It comes after the Duke of Sussex last night told wounded, sick and injured members of the armed forces that hanging up their uniform is an incredibly hard thing to do. Prince Harry attended the Endeavour Fund Awards at Mansion House in London yesterday to recognize the sporting and adventure achievements of the military. The Duke thanked them for their support at the event, which was the first time he and wife Meghan have gone on a public royal duty together. And he told the veterans at a reception that he has always got your back at one of his final events before he quits royal life with Meghan. Harry, who served with the Blues and Royals and the Army Air Corps, spoke of the honor of serving his grandmother amid reports of tensions between the Royals. The couple will step down as senior royals on March 31, following four further public appearances in the coming days, which will conclude next Monday. Meghan and Harry were earlier pictured in London yesterday, leaving the exclusive Goring Hotel, the Queen's favorite restaurant after having lunch there. And Harry waved to well-wishers outside Buckingham Palace on Tuesday, as he was driven away in a Range Rover, after a series of internal meetings with his team. It came after they had a heart-to-heart -heart for four hours in her private apartments at Windsor Castle on Sunday about his imminent departure from the royal family. Another report. John Bon Jovi has a clever new nickname for Prince Harry. Names are a big deal for the members of the royal family. They demonstrate status, alignments, and power structures. When Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, stepped away from their royal duties, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex left many questions up in the air. Among those questions was what would happen to their titles, and would their names change? Amongst all of the more serious speculation about the outcomes of this unprecedented move, we now have a little levity. John Bon Jovi, who has been working with Prince Harry on a song collaboration, has given a new nickname. Prince Harry's collaboration with John Bon Jovi is one of his final royal acts. While the rumors about Prince Harry and Meghan's departure swirled for at least the past year, the announcement that they would officially be stepping back from their duties has been public for a few months. Still, it takes time to untangle all of their responsibilities, and they are not officially out of the roles until April 1st. That gives the pair time to wrap up impending projects. One of those projects includes the somewhat unlikely work of Prince Harry working alongside rock star John Bon Jovi to create a song. The collaboration is part of a charity effort. Bon Jovi went to Abbey Road Studio to re-record his song, Unbroken, which was originally written to raise awareness about veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. Proceeds from the new project will go to the Indictus Games Foundation. 
Prince Harry's new freedom is causing rifts with family. These last engagements as official royal duties, especially ones with high-profile rock stars, are getting a lot of media attention, but that's a source of frustration for the other members of the family, who will not be exiting at the end of the month. In particular, Prince Harry and Meghan's brief return to the UK overlapped with Prince William and Kate's visit to Ireland. The fear is that the coverage of the exiting couple will overshadow the important work of the Cambridge's diplomatic efforts. Prince Harry and Meghan are already facing some icy consequences of their decision, including being demanded not to use the word royal to describe themselves. These consequences include the removal of their HRH titles. It will no longer be appropriate to refer to them as His Royal Highness and Her Royal Highness. However, Prince Harry is still a prince, and he still maintains his place in the line of succession to the throne. John Bon Jovi has a new nickname for Prince Harry. While discussing their collaborative project, Bon Jovi poked a little fun at Prince Harry's predicament. Prince Harry's role in the collaboration was to sit in as a senior member of the royal family as a way to provide support to the charity effort. Bon Jovi joked that he was planning to hand him a tambourine and see what he's got going. Then he went on to say that he wasn't sure how to refer to Prince Harry as they worked together. He said, I've been asking, what do I do? How do I address him? And then I realized I'm gonna call him the artist formerly known as Prince. While of course the joke isn't accurate, Prince Harry is now and forever a prince, something that's determined by his birth and not his current duties. Bon Jovi has managed to add a little fun to what has been a tense situation for everyone involved. Prince Harry and Meghan have a 12-month review period. It's possible that they could change their minds about their new roles, but only time will tell what arrangement will work best for everyone. Another analysis. Duchess looks more radiant than ever with contoured cheeks, liquid bronzer and A-list brows. As expert says it's a hint at her future personal style, London-based makeup artist. Laura Kay noted Meghan used a classic combination of a darker lip, contoured cheeks and a list brow to create a show-stopping look. The royal enhanced her radiant complexion with a 950-pound Victoria Beckham dress in a stunning shade of azure blue. Speaking to female about the stunning look, Laura said, the royal look has gone straight out of the window, and in its place is Meghan's new A-list makeover. Meghan is definitely making a statement with her makeup choices for her last official British royal engagement. Her eye makeup is smoldering and skin is more radiant and dewier than ever. She is glowing. The Duchess appears to have contoured her cheekbones with a liquid bronzer, which plays off a Mediterranean inspiration. She opted for a glossy deep pink lipstick, which really suits her complexion. I think she will play with brighter lip colors in the future. Megan usually opts for soft natural eyebrows, but her brows are the most noticeable update and transforms her look into serious day lister. Laura noted that Megan's entire look is sexier than we have previously seen and suggests a level of confidence in her current position in life. The makeup artist added it could be a sign of how Megan will choose to style herself going forward. My guess is, Megan is sending the world a message and her new look is a teaser of what style we can expect to see in the future, Laura continued. She will most definitely be wanting to become known for her own individual style. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.